All right, uh, Lieutenant Ray Mendoza, uh, public information officer for uh, the LPD, is in the house. Welcome to the program. Thanks for rolling out this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Um, over the weekend, uh, we had a couple of things that um, you know had occurred that are still under investigation. Um, but I, I do want to say this before we you know dive into this. Seven four one one thousand is the number. It's the crime line. So if you have any information that you know would be helpful in the investigation that occurred, you know, you might want to, you know, ring it up. Okay. A couple of things that we're going to be talking about this morning. Uh, we kind of threw this out there a little bit earlier about one. What was it? One ish this morning. That's correct. Um, we had a, uh, actually a shooting. What are the circumstances around the shooting in the 1900 block of 38th street? That would be between Avenue S and Avenue T. That's correct. Uh, what we know right now is the victim was walking towards his residence uh, when a car uh, drove up and uh, there were some shots fired. The victim was hit at least one time. Uh, we don't have much more information because uh, the only person that, that actually was involved is in the hospital. And so uh, the, the vehicle fled, and uh, the only thing we know was a dark-colored passenger car. And that's all we have right now. The victim is in satisfactory condition. Uh, we know that he was hit at least one time. Hmm. Has he indicated that he, he knew who well, did it? No. Uh, like I said, he was transported to the hospital, so we haven't been able to actually speak with him. Mm. Uh, we hope to be doing that this morning sometime. Detectives will be out there visit with him. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's uh, not exactly the way it ended to walk back to the house. You know, so you might want to, uh, I guess, be careful while you're walking around because it's not really limited to, you know, one part of town. Well, we don't know that this was just a random random shooting. It could have been that they were after him, too. We have to wait till the investigation oh, yeah. continues. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> then, um, I guess this was, we had an accident, um, 4300 block of 98th Street, which I guess transpired like right in front of Market Street. Yes. Um, at, at 98th and Quaker. Now, this was a Lexus and Alexis. so what's the circumstance that's uh, revolving around that? Well, the the one vehicle was traveling eastbound, the other one westbound. Uh, the eastbound vehicle, for unknown reasons we don't know yet, uh, went on to oncoming traffic and uh, was struck by the westbound Lexus. Uh, it struck him on the driver's side, and so uh, the driver of the uh, eastbound Lexus uh, was transported with uh, life-threatening injuries. And the Accident Investigation Division uh, was called out to the scene and is currently investigating that. Okay, now the the car that actually was eastbound veering off into the westbound traffic, uh, 21-year-old driver, 21-year-old passenger. Yes. Okay, so what are they uh, – when something like that happens, that, that was like uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. So, I mean, I guess knee-jerk reaction is you first first thing you kind of try and rule out is alcohol, Yeah. That's that's usually the first thing we do is try to rule out the obvious, you know, it was alcohol or drugs on board, uh, if there's any indicators of that. Uh, the second thing we look for is mechanical failure of the vehicle um, or anything of that, or maybe even driver uh, inattention or driver uh, inexperience. Uh, it was wet. The roads were wet that night, so we, we're going to be looking at that as well. Yeah, I guess uh, speed really can be a factor, and you don't have to be – and distracted driving. Yeah. I'm you, not you, saying that this was the case here, but that's, that is a cause of a lot of accidents. You really don't have to be, you know, speeding or driving recklessly when there's, you know, weather. Now, you know, I was driving yesterday on the highway, you know, on I-45, man, it was coming down good. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, we had to slow down to like 45 miles an hour. Right. You know, and there were still people that were going, you know, past us. You know, and then three or four miles down the road, you you know, you see him on the roadside in the fender bender. Right. You know? So slow down. <laughs> anyway, seven four one one thousands crime line. If anybody has any information or, you know, bore a witness to either of the events or any event, they can ring it up any time, right? Yes, and uh, they can remain anonymous if they like, and uh, they're also eligible for a reward. So we encourage anybody who with any kind of information on this case to call us. Those three dirty little words, Lori. It's all What's about that? it's all about money. Oh. It's just money. <laughs> Hey, uh, Lieutenant Raymond Doza, PIO LPD, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you coming in.